Hi all, now in this video we are going to talk about Man With Me. So I'm sure now you know a two sample t-test, right? So Man With Me is a test which is a bit similar to a two sample t-test. It is used to compare two population median. When you have two population and you want to compare a median of those two population, then you use a Man With Me. So whenever your y is continuous, prerequisites are, whenever your y is continuous, your x is discrete and your x has two levels, okay? Uh, suppose uh, your x is gender and, and a, gender, a gender are males and female, right? Now, if you have, say, data of male in one column and data of female in one column you can do man with me and you can find out you can compare median of both the population all right so now you can see here i have data of average call handling time of a bpo okay and you can see here this this is all the data that i have and here uh, what i've done is i have data of these all are team uh, these these all are trainers so I have data of trainer Amit, Atul, Daniel, Rashid, Ruby, and Sonia. So these are AST of, of trainees of Amit. These are AST of trainees of Atul. Similarly, these are AST of trainees of Daniel, Rashid, Ruby, and Sonia. Now, if I want to compare any, any two sample, okay, so suppose I want to compare Amit uh, and, and, and Atul, okay, I want to compare, I want to check whether there is any significant difference in the median of Amit and Atul. So what I'll do, I'll do man with me, because I know my Y is continuous, my Y is AST average call handling time, that is continuous, my X is, uh, obviously my X is discrete, it's, it's a trainer, wherein I'm, I'm comparing two trainers, Amit and Atul, okay. So I would go to stat, I would go to uh, non-parametric, but, but before we go there, let me tell you what null hypothesis and alternate hypothesis will say in this test. So null hypothesis will say that median of both the populations are, populations are approximately equal. At the same time, alternate hypothesis will say that median of both the populations are significantly different from each other, okay? So whenever median of both the populations will be approximately equal, that means uh, that, that particular x does not have any impact on y, and if well, we see that there is significant difference in, in, in median of two population, then we will say that that, uh, they, they, that, that, that that X has significant impact on Y, okay? So now let's go to stat, let's go to non-parametric, Man-Whitney, and in Man-Whitney, see here, first sample, second sample. Unlike, one, uh, unlike two sample t-test, we, we don't have much option here. If you remember in two sample t-test, we had three options. The first option was wherein your data was stacked. That means your data of both the samples were in the same column. You had an option wherein data of both the samples were in different column. And you had an option wherein you had summarized data. So if you had three options to conduct two sample t-test. However, in case of man with knee, Minitab just gives you one option. This option is your data has to be unstacked. That means data of your one subgroup has to be in has to be in one column, and data of another subgroup has to be in different column. So, for example, in my case, data of Amit is in one column and data of Atul is in one column. Okay, so I would do not equal test. I'm doing um, I'm, I'm doing not equal test. Okay, I'm, I'm just wanna check. I'm, I'm just willing to check whether there is any significant difference in the median of both population or not, and this is how the result that I all get. See, this is the result. Now, uh, this is the p-value, okay? Uh, you can see significant at. This is the p-value. This is what we call p-value. So p-value is 0 0.180. Obviously, that's, that's greater than 0 0.05. So we conclude that uh, there, is, there is no significant difference in the median of both the population. 
okay this is how we conduct two sample t-tests I'm sorry man, man Whitney again in man Whitney if you want to do less than test greater than test you can do that uh, your hypothesis will remain same in, in, in case of less than test your null hypothesis will say no uh, median of your uh, population one is 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 not less than uh, median of your population uh, uh, population two. At the same time, alternate hypothesis will say median of your population one is uh, is is, is uh, significant. I mean, it's, it's greater than median of population two. Okay, and if you do greater than test, then then null will say that median of your population one is not greater than a median of population two. When I say not greater than, that means either either it's equal to or it's smaller than median of population two. And alternate hypothesis will say that median of population one is greater than median of population two. So this is how we use man with me whenever I have one x. Uh, with two levels okay you, you just need to have two level if you have more than two levels you would go with moots median I'm sure now you know when to use uh, two sample t-test in, in your real life experiences